Hey there, so uh, Mother Nature hasn't been very nice to us here lately. Uh, it's been raining a lot and the river's really high. And uh, so I'm just sitting at home here and I thought I'd do a quick video. Uh, something I wanted to show you what I've been doing here the last several years uh, in determining the size of a catfish or the weight of a catfish um, by measuring it and not using a scale. And I've been, like I said, I've been doing this several years and it's kind of came, came about from, uh, I was out one time and I didn't have a, a scale and I wanted to know how big a fish was. And there's obviously there's formulas you can go around on the website and Google and find formulas, general formulas that work for you know a multitude of fish. But I kind of wanted to find something that would work specifically for a catfish. And uh, so I went through many years of data and and started doing this and and figuring out kind of reverse engineered the uh, the other formulas and found one that's been working pretty well here. And what that is is it's length times length times girth divided by 1275. And I know a lot of uh, formulas, there's like an in-fisherman one that uses uh, the, the figure 1200. And I found that was a little off in, in my uh, calculations from my fish and other people's fish that have tried it. So um, just kind of toyed around with it a little bit and found that 1275 is probably about the closest number that I could find that worked really well. Um, so basically all you do is you, you measure the length of the fish and preferably use a, a bump board or a stiff rigid ruler uh, to get as accurate as you can because it does make a difference to to get an accurate measurement and then the girth you just want to use a, a soft tape the seamstress tape I, I'm looking for the word to use there but uh, you know just you can find the, the retractable ones or, or whatever some sort of uh, soft tape that goes around the fish without kinking like a, a stiff ruler would uh, but anyways yeah you just you do you get those two le length and girth and then you just plug it in that formula length times length times girth divided by 1275 and I'm going to tell you this right now it's not going to be perfect and that's one of the things people have told me it's like well this this formula is off well it is off but I'm here to say that it's off by 10 percent so for example if you have a 20 pound fish it's going to be plus or minus two pounds 30 pound fish plus or minus three pounds etc so if you, you get a 60 pound fish years plus or minus six pounds either way and I've found that 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 holds pretty true for most of the fish that I've tried this on so uh, I got a fish here I'm going to show you we caught the other night and like I said it's off by a couple pounds and and some of that I'm going to admit could be a, a measuring error you know maybe half an inch either way could have made a difference but if you're out fishing and you ha don't have a scale uh, you want to know the weight of a fish just go ahead and measure this and even if you don't have a tape measure you can use a piece of string and cut it off for the length, cut it off for the girth, and go ahead and measure that later on. Just make sure you get it nice and accurate. You plug it in that formula and you're gonna know the weight of that fish. So uh, next time that walleye guy shows you that 50 pound fish you caught, ask for the dimensions and you know right away the size of it is, or at least within 10%. Uh, so here's that fish, thanks for watching. Oh, and real quick here before we get to that fish, uh, I'd really like for other people to give this a try and put in the comments section if it works or if it didn't work. Uh, I'd be curious to see if there if fish uh, might be, you know, different sort of shape, different parts of the region, you know, if, if they're fatter or skinnier or other parts, you know, other rivers or even catfish from around the world. I'd really be curious to see how this formula works for you. So go ahead and, and measure that length and girth and weight on a scale just to, to see how accurate it is and uh, let me know how it goes. All right. John just caught this fish here and I'm going to show you how to how you can estimate the weight of a fish just by measuring it with a measuring tape. So 25 for uh, 25 girth. 25 inch girth. So you want to measure the girth. We also want to measure the length. So we'll throw them on here. You want to measure as straight as you possibly can. Move that thing up to the front there. 37. We got 37 right there. Yep, to the tape. All right, so there's a little formula you do. It's length times length times girth divided by 1275. Here we go. All right, so here's what we got. 24.4. 24.4. 24. 